Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel 5 Minute Pediatric. Today we will discuss about a very unique topic, infant of diabetic mother. These are the baby delivered from diabetic mother. So in this video we will learn about the clinical manifestation of IDM baby. Okay. So we have infant of diabetic mother, the baby is usually large, macrosomia is there. So what is macrosomia and what are the reason behind macrosomia? We define macrosomia as birth weight more than 90th centile or birth weight more than 4 kg. Okay. So if the if there is macrosomia it is associated with increased risk of obstructive trauma and it is associated with clavicle fracture or palsy phrenic nerve injury so what is the reason behind macrosomia so in third trimester there is elevated maternal blood sugar there is fetal and neonatal hyperinsulinemic state and there is neonatal hypoglycemia. Next manifestation we have here if in uh, you will find these are macrosomic baby with hypertrichosis there is here if in uh, now we have hypoglycemia in IDM baby so you have to screen these baby frequently for hypoglycemia so what are the reason behind hypoglycemia why there is hypoglycemia in this baby so we have Pedersen maternal hyperglycemia fetal hyperinsulinemia hypothesis so in this child we have to maintain the blood sugar more than 45 milligram per deciliter. Now we have next manifestation the child have respiratory distress. So what are the cause of respiratory distress in this macrosomic large macrosomic IDM baby. So first of all the more common cause we have respiratory distress syndrome that is hyaline membrane disease so why there is hyaline membrane disease why what are the other cause of respiratory distress we have respiratory distress and the reason behind hyaline membrane disease respiratory distress syndrome is due to delay in lung maturation and these lung maturation is delayed lung maturation is caused by hyperinsulinemia that blocks cortisol induced lung maturation other cause of respiratory distress we have cardiopulmonary anomalies transient tachypnea of newborn polycythemia pneumonia pneumothorax diaphragmatic hernia okay now we have next manifestation congenital anomaly congenital anomaly is also very common in idm baby okay so what are the congenital anomaly why it occurs and what are the common congenital anomaly in this baby the cause the association has been found if there is increased sp1 ac level there is increased association of congenital anomaly about two third case we have cardiac and cns malformation in this baby other includes intestinal atresia renal agenesis etc so what are the common cardiac malformation and what are the common cns malformation so first of all i would like to the common cardiac malformation we have tga we have vsd we have asd 
and in CNS we have neural tube defect, anencephaly, prosencephaly, holoprosencephaly, we have meningomyelocele and the most important that is commonly asked is sacral agenesis or caudal regression syndrome. This question is frequently asked and sometimes asking if what are the pathognomic of IDM the option you can take out is caudal regression syndrome or sacral agenesis. Now next manifestation we have hypocalcemia. So why there is hypocalcemia, why the baby is most rigidly, why there is seizure, hypocalcemia can explain this, what are the reason behind hypocalcemia in these baby why hypocalcemia occur the reason is that there is delay in postnatal rise of parathormone or vitamin d antagonism at intestinal level and if hypocalcemia is not corrected also suspect hypomagnesemia in idm baby now we have next manifestation polycythemia so baby is plethoric why there is plethoric why there is polycythemia so there is increase decreased oxygen delivery secondary to elevated hb a1 level in both maternal and fetal blood now next manifestation we have Jaundice. Jaundice occur due to decreased lifespan, increased RBC turnover, and there is prematurity, there is impaired conjugation, there is increased intrahepatic circulation due to poor feeding. Now we have next manifestation that is cardiac, okay, cardiac manifestation. So we have hypertrophic subaortic stenosis. Th this is transient, okay, this is transient hypertrophic subaortic stenosis. This, why this occur? This occur mainly due to ventricular septal hypertrophy and the symptom caused by it that is symptom caused by it dissolve usually by two week and septal hypertrophy also dissolve by four months so this child mostly required supportive therapy sometimes may require lasix or propanolol Okay, next manifestation we have renal vein thrombosis as there is polycythemia, there is a chance of renal vein thrombosis. The child, the baby present with hematuria, flank mass, hypertension and this should be managed conservatively. Okay. So now we have last slide for the baby having a small left colon syndrome, okay? And these present with, present with abdominal generalized abdominal distension, inability to pass meconium, so gastrographene can be used for diagnostic as well as therapeutic purpose. The child, the baby may require half normal saline enema at a dose of 5 ml per kg or glycerine suppository for passing meconium. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.